guys, I'm Adam from Top Dog, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about how to help your dog overcome a fears and phobias of loud noises. Things like uh, fireworks, thunderstorms, gunshots going off, um, and balloons popping, all that kind of stuff. Um, we're going to be using Bentley today. Now, Bentley here uh, is, a, is a total rock star. He's actually a service dog, and out in public, he does absolutely terrific. I just got back from a trip with him where he was on buses and taxis, on airplanes, all kinds of stuff. Did absolutely fantastic. We had lots of loud noises. We had a waitress drop a glass, things like that. And Bentley, just like anybody, might get a little startled here or there, but then calms right back down. You know, he's not gonna throw a fit about it. We did, however, find one instance where I wanna work on it. I wanna improve it just a little bit more. And that was when we were actually at a fair and there was a balloon tire nearby and he kept popping balloons. It was pretty frequently. It was, you know, maybe one every 30 to 60 seconds. It was kind of random but it was still pretty frequently. And the repetitiveness of that kind of started to, to make Bentley a little bit uneasy. You know, just like I said, any dog or any person will get startled when a balloon pops, but when it keeps happening, it seemed to be causing him a little bit more stress. And so we want to address that. We want to fix that. We want to get him comfortable with loud and surprising noises. Um, and so this is how we're going to do it. Now, one thing I will say is that uh, if Bentley were much younger, what I love to do with puppies is start him off with this CD. And I'm gonna include a link to this in the description below the video. What we're gonna do with this CD is we're just gonna have it playing softly in the background in his room. And every single day, we're just gonna turn the volume up just a little bit, a little bit louder and a little bit louder. And this CD just has tons of noises that help desensitize your dog. Now, when we do it with puppies, it works really, really fast. Most of the time I do this with puppies from the time they're like eight to 10 weeks and it, they're just over it. Like for the rest of their life, they don't have issues with things. But because he's a little older, Unfortunately, things are a little bit more instilled in him. He's not an old dog by any means. He's just a year and a half old, but things are a little bit more instilled in him. Um, and so it's gonna be a little bit more of a process that we have to go through. And that's what I wanna show you today. So this is step one. It's just gonna be playing in the background of his room whenever he's in his crate. We especially like to pair it up with uh, feeding time so that way it becomes a positive association. Um, so this is just gonna be kind of an ongoing thing that every day we're just gradually turning it up. The more intensive hands-on part you're gonna need just a couple of things for it. Um, so what I like to use is the dog's food, a metal bowl, and I wanna have a couple of different surfaces to start on to see like what level the dog's at. And what I mean by that is like, let's say I've got a dog that's very afraid of noises, I might start on this rubber floor and drop their food bowl from 12 inches off this rubber floor and they come to investigate and they get a treat, okay? What we're trying to do is eliminate that fear of loud noises. Now, for Bentley, I don't think he's going to be quite that bad, so I'm probably going to use this wood surface to start off with, and maybe by the end of the session, move over to this metal chair to get gradually louder and louder. So I'm just going to start with him. He's never done this. He's never seen anything like this drill before. Uh, I'm going to start with him right now and show you guys kind of what we do to get the dog interested. So first thing I want to do is just kind of get him interested in his bolt. Maddie, can you still see me okay over here? Okay. So I just want to let him know, hey, it's time to get a little snack. Okay. Bentley free. Good boy. Oh yeah, good boy. Good, there's some food in there. Oh yeah. Good. Now I'm using two different foods. I'm using his regular food, which he's pretty excited about, but I'm also throwing in some high value rewards, some hot dogs to get him extra excited. So you might use hot dogs, cheese, uh, whatever you use to get your dog really, really excited. Um, and so I'm gonna use those to really keep him engaging. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and start the exercise. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and just start on the rubber floor and gradually work my way up to something louder and louder. So what I'm gonna do, drop the bowl. Good boy. He comes to investigate, he gets a reward. Good boy. Okay, so we're trying to reward the dog for not being afraid of loud noises. Good boy. Good. And like I said, it's like uh, four or five pieces of kibble and one piece of hot dog. So it just keeps him really excited about getting in there. Good. Now, I've been dropping it from about knee height. I'm going to drop it just a little bit higher. And this is what we do to gradually desensitize the dog. We gradually go louder and louder. Now, like I said, for some dogs, that loudness might have been too loud for him already. For Bentley, I know Bentley really well. So I knew I could probably start with fairly loud to begin with. And then we're going to just gradually get louder and louder. But for some dogs, I might start with on the carpet even or something like that and just get them really used to some softer noises. So gauge your dog, 
train your dog the way that your dog needs to be trained. Don't follow it exactly the way I'm doing with Bentley if your dog is more afraid of these loud noises. Okay? Three. Good boy. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and restock on my food here, and I'm going to move over to the wooden platform now. Oopsie. Get ahead of myself. All right, creep. Good boy. Good. Good boy. And you can hear a difference. It's a little bit louder on the wooden platform than it is on the rubber floor. And then uh, I would probably do a few more reps of that if I weren't just making a video. And then I'd move over to the chair. So for the sake of the video, I'm gonna move over to the chair. Bentley. Now the chair is the loudest. So I'm gonna start off the closest to it. Good boy. Good. Get about six inches higher than I was before. Good boy. A little bit higher. Good boy. Good job, pal. Good boy. Place. And this is just one session. Uh, with Bentley, we're going to be doing sessions like this every single day for the next couple of weeks to gradually make sure that he's overcoming any fears or phobias. And then once he is showing that he's totally bulletproof with any kind of noises we can manufacture here, then we're going to edit it gonna go ahead and we're gonna start introducing balloons popping from a distance and same thing balloon pops he doesn't react poorly he gets a treat or balloon pops and he says oh what was that and he wants to check it out he gets a treat for that really important thing with this is make sure you're not giving your dog any kind of food reward if they react negatively all right if I would have dropped the bull from right here on that first one with Bentley and he would turn around and tucked his tail I would not go and give him a treat or try to push the bull in his face and say here take this because what that's doing is that's reinforcing the wrong behavior. Your dog has to either go investigate the sound or show some interest. If they show concern or fear or anything like that, you need to take it down a level and you need to make sure you're starting with a hungry dog. You know, Bentley hasn't had breakfast yet this morning, so I'm starting with a hungry dog. So he's really wanting to know how to get those treats. You need to make sure you're doing that kind of step by step. Start with a hungry dog. Start at a level that you know that your dog will be wanting to investigate. Don't start too high to where you're going to shut your dog down from fear. So on a rubber floor, carpeted floor, something like that, put some cardboard down if you don't have any carpeted floors in your house. Um, then gradually work your way up. Each session that you work with your dog should be about the length that you saw me work with Bentley just now. It should be maybe 10 or 12 reps and then call it a day. But don't work on it for an hour at a time. You do that and you can start to stress your dog out a little bit, okay? So make sure that when you're practicing, you're not rewarding the wrong behavior. If your dog shows any fear, or aggression or anxiety or anything like that you're moving too fast your dog's not quite ready for it and then build up more and more and then like I said in the background your dog's kennel or your bedroom or wherever you should probably be playing this CD to help them overcome those noises as well this CD has a, a bunch of noises fireworks gunshots um, things clanking and clacking um, thunderstorms all that kind of stuff so it's gonna give you a wide variety and then you combine that with this and you should be able to get your dog to overcome fears and phobias of loud noises and all that good stuff. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy. Hope you learn. If you have any questions, feel free to drop us an email. Our website's going to be in the description down below. And uh, you can contact us directly through there. Again, I'm Adam from Top Dog. And have a great day.